Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can make Canon AI in Unreal Engine. You see when player go inside the range of Canon, the Canon will fire and player will die. So let's start. Uh, please uh, subscribe my channel for more tutorial like this. So first of all, uh, we have already the mesh, uh, 3D mesh of Canon. Uh, please check the link in description and please uh, uh, watch the whole tutorial series. Uh, you will find the link in description. Here is our uh, mesh. Now we will uh, create a folder. Uh, we will create a folder and name it AI, AI anime. Uh, by the way, you can choose whatever name you prefer. Uh, now I create another folder. I name it Canon. Now I will, I will create a actor blueprint by right clicking. Uh, I name it BB Canon and from blueprint uh, you will duplicate the uh, bb rifle projectile the rifle bullet and i will uh, rename it like uh, canon projectile bb canon projectile uh, by the way you can choose whatever name you prefer now open the projectile here is our projectile now we need to change very few things here there is a cylinder uh, i made for our rifle it's a red material now just resize the size i give 0.5 i think it's good and the material should be any black material i just give my rifle material it looks like uh, okay and spare i will add a function uh, on component hit uh, from here, uh, from other actor, I will class to my character, uh, class to side scholar character. You will choose your own character. I will add do once because I want to play it uh, one time once, otherwise, it will be messy. And from our character, I will add uh, player damage, which I created in my previous tutorial. If you follow, you will know. Make it a little organized. Uh, this is fine, I believe. Compile and save. Save all. Our projectile is done. Now we will make our BB cannon. Here is our cannon. We will add a few uh, component and also few variables here and some coding. So add a static mesh I name it uh, path canon and I will add my canon mesh it should be no collision and it should be 90 on z axis rotation minus 90 compile and save now we will add few more component uh, first of all we will add a box collision we will duplicate it uh, i will rename it uh, one should be uh, range box another should be health box now i will add a widget we don't uh, use widget now on this tutorial we will use it previous tutorial now i will add health health component now i will add scene component and i will name it uh, enemy projectile projectile please uh, forgive my spelling or something like that now i add a spare collision mm, where is the function mm, we need to add a spare not a spare mesh a spare collision and the radius should be 6 compile and save we need to add few variable also uh, first of all no we we'll, we need to add the player of uh, reference first uh, get player character and uh, class to our side scholar character and from here uh, make it a variable and i will name it player we are done here now we will add two more variable uh, one should be in range 
uh, R should be capital letter. It doesn't matter, but I like it to capital letter. Now another uh, should be ground offset. It should be vector, and it should be five on H axis. Now you will uh, give some value of our component. First of all, the range box. The location should be um, 480 on x-axis and uh, 210 on z-axis on both x-stand, 500 on x, uh, 64 on y and 220 should be in z. It is our range box and we will need to also do the bots health bots uh, no it's not the widget it's the health bots it should be one uh, 156 and now it's widget we make uh, 210 on z axis and minus 90 on rotation z axis uh, the draw size should be 115 now we need to change only the location on projectile enemy projectile uh, 82 is uh, x axis and 101 on z axis I copy the location and paste it on a spare you are done on component now we need to add few code in event graph we are in event graph select the range box on component design overlap and on component and overlap call both of them and from here we will cast to our side scholar character and add in range variable boolean variable make it true control c control v and add with end overlap and the range should be false on end overlap compile and save save all now we need to add a uh, custom uh, event it should be fire cannon now we'll add few function on event it add a sequence now the branch it should be uh, from player from health uh, death get death and this get is the condition make it organize i like to do in organize and from here add a delay delay should be one second after one second uh, the fire will uh, the cannon will fire after one second otherwise it will be too fast add a branch again make it organized now this time the condition should be in range and if it's in the range we will fire fire cannon the custom event we created compile and save now we will uh, make our fire cannon custom event get the sphere get enemy projectile and from here get world uh, rotation also get the gun offset and get rotator uh, rotate vector and with it add the world location and add with vector this vector now make transform add the rotation now play sound 2d we need to add a rifle fire sound so the cannon look like twish twish firing now spawn actor from class and the actor should be our canon projectile now add with add with it compile save we are done our code is done save all now make it little organize make it straight make this to a straight make it straight make it here 
organize like this align like this and it should be aligned like this i think we are done now this is the process of testing place our cannon uh, it should be zero on the x axis and minus uh, 90 on the rotation z axis make it little delete the explosive cannon and uh, explosive bots save all now if we play and if we go in the range of uh, the cannon the cannon will start to fire and we will hit we will lose blood you can see the position of our blood and after we losing all the blood we will die you can by the way you can change the blood uh, lose uh, value like 50 or like 100 uh, so i test again i go close and it's firing it's firing it's firing and we die so that is for today's tutorial bye bye everybody